Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller, and in this video, it's going to be a two-parter. So the first part, we're going to go through this lot of gemstone, natural stone, more like natural stone jewelry that I got from shopgoodwill.com forever ago, and I forgot about it. And then the second part of the video, we're going to show some items that I did not get to yesterday at my live sale. So if you guys missed my live sale yesterday, um, I did not get through everything. I was getting very tired and hungry and I had to end it at three hours. Um, I think that's like my my going rate here. <laughs> but I did not get through everything, so I wanted to show you guys in a second part of this video. And it's going to be just like a jewelry video where if you see something you like, you can email me with the timestamp or screenshot of what you would like, and I can send you the invoice. So same goes with the jewelry. Um, I expect payment immediately. I will hold items for the week, but you have to just pay for the items and I'll hold off on charging you shipping until the end of the week. So if you you know order things from my other videos throughout the week, I'll combine all the shipping for you. Um, so now this bag is uh, a whole bunch of different stones. I am not a professional stone gemologist identifier. <laughs> So please bear with me if you know what a stone is and I don't. You can definitely feel free to write it in the comments nicely. We all are nice around here to each other. Um, I also have my gem tester ready to go in case we get to anything that could possibly be read on there. So um, my email address is anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always in the description box. Check out that sold list as well, pinned in the comment section. Click the thumbs up if you would like, because I would like you to. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go. So this right here I can feel is stone. This might be blue lace agate, the light blue ones. The darker blue might be like a sodalite. I'm not sure about the brown. The brown seems to have a little bit of like gold flecks in it. And the white, I'm not sure. Maybe just um, a glass or quartz. Let's see. Okay, so it's quartz. Um, I don't know if agate shows up on here. It might come up as like a quartz or something. But um, okay, so this is a, a memory wire bracelet. It can basically fit any wrist. And we're going to do seven dollars. It's in really nice condition. Alright, this is cool. So this oh it has a it has a mark. What does that say? Stour? Okay. St oh, I don't have my phone in here, so I can't okay. look it up. Hang on. Stour. So, I mean, it looks like the brand is listed for quite a bit. Sold is what matters. So I don't really see anything like mine. Well, that one kind of, but it's not blue. But basically this brand goes for a nice amount. There's, here's, here's stone, stone necklaces. All right, so figure like about 50 bucks on eBay. Let's see what it comes up as on here. If it's just a quartz, probably. Oop, I just slipped off of it. It's not really going up to the quartz line. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so a blue quartz necklace, but it is very pretty. It's got five strands with an extender. I'll give you a full total length. It is 18 inches to the extender and then can go to 20 inches. 
so I'm gonna just do um, 18 on this one. It's in really nice condition. I don't see any wear on the extender or anything. So there's that. This one looks nice. Oh, and I want to give a shout out to a fellow subscriber and YouTuber. I recently learned that she has a channel. I had no idea. Um, I, <laughs> she, we talk all the time and she's a customer of mine as well. Um, so I would like to shout her out and let you guys know about her channel. I will put a link to her channel in the description box. She's actually working on a giveaway right now. So um, definitely go check her out. It's Janet Adams and Bryn Diaz. And the channel name is Bryn Diaz. So um, I will put the link in the description box so you can click on it and you can click the subscribe and go check out her giveaway. You have to be subscribed though. And um, go, yeah, go check her out. <laughs> she does unboxings and it's really fun. And she has a really cute little doggy, Frankie, who is super cute and is in all the videos also, just like my, well, I was gonna say just like my little Dallas. He's not really in all of them, but he makes an appearance. <laughs> so this necklace is gorgeous. It is, I bet you it's a whole bunch of different Jaspers. Um, I need to get familiar with all my Jaspers, but this is awesome. With the gold tone beads in between, there's a fish hook clasp. It does not say anything, but look how pretty. Oh my gosh. It's got a nice weight to it. So um, I'll give you a total length on it. Total length is 21 inches. And let's do 14 on it. That's so pretty. Okay, is that just dirt or what? Mm, I don't know. I have a cloth right here. Let me try to clean that off. Okay, good, it's coming off. So it was just a little dirty. I'm gonna, I'll finish cleaning that off. But this seems like a piece of glass. And then look at all these stones. <gasps> Beautiful. I don't know, I don't, it doesn't look like sterling, but we can see. And all of these stones look like all different agates to me. No, it's not sterling. And check out this one. Wow. That one. So cool. Focus check. Ooh, that one even has a little, uh, what do they call that in there? A little druzy. Holy moly, this is really pretty. Okay, so it's, I'll give you the wearable length. There's no extender. It's 10 inches to the pendant. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do 16 on this one. Really pretty. Here's a little pendant. I'm gonna guess that that's jade. That's really, really green though. Let's see. Oh yeah, right there. So a little jade charm or pendant, or you can even make this into an ornament, put a little ribbon through there. That'd be cute, $5. Let's look at this big honker right here. Holy moly. Ooh, there's hair in it. Yeek. Gross. 
gross. So I'm going to guess that these are amethyst. Huge chunk. Chunk of Roonies. Yep. Cabs are here. What would one of my videos be without a cab honking? <laughs> or a loud car driving by? Or a motorcycle? Um, this is really cool. So, it's just a lobster claw. But look at how, like, chunky the pieces are. It's so, like, Flintstones. <laughs> so, um, like, primitive. So cool. Okay, let me give you a total length. So it can go from 15 inches to 18 inches with the extender. So a really nice collar necklace. And we are going to do, um, we're going to do 25 on this one. That's a lot of amethyst and it's huge, huge chungaroonies. Let's look at this little bear. Yeah, get off. He's cute. He's like the little Zuni bear. I don't know what stone this would be, but it's really cool. You guys can let me know in the comments. It's almost like it's made up of a bunch of different pieces of stuff. <laughs> so it's on this cord, which I'm not really the greatest fan of, but it seems to be clean. It's just a little bent up. Um, it's really long. It is, oops, 15 inches wearable length. And we're going to do $8. Oh, I see tiger's eye. Really pretty. Oh, is it like broken? What's all these pieces? Or is that just how it goes? There's all little strands coming out. Maybe it's just unwrapped a little bit. Because there's like, see how this has like circles and then it goes straight. So maybe it's just the way it was wrapped and it just needs to be wrapped a little bit better. There we go. But that's cool with the little um, pieces in between. I don't know what that would be. But it's a pretty cool bracelet nonetheless. Nice. So let's get a measurement. Seven and a half inches. We'll do um, $6 since it has those little bit of little bit of wires hanging out. All right, this is cool. So you pull the ends to make this smaller. The, this is probably rose quartz. Yep. Oh wait, or could it be pink jade? It was kind of going up a little higher than the quartz. Let me let me try that again. Uh, oops, I slipped off of it. Nope, it's quartz. Okay, so rose quartz, little bracelet. We'll just do four on it. Ooh, this one's pretty. Let me get this earring out of here because you're getting stuck on everything. And this earring. Okay, so this is a bracelet as well. Moss agate? No. You know what um, website really helps? And if you guys know about this website, you can skip this part, but I would like to show you guys how I find out stones. 
So you go to firemountaingems.com. This is just a bead um, wholesaler, um, but they have a really fun way to find out about what stones you have. So you click on gemstone beads, and now you can choose by color. So you can shop by color, or what we're gonna do is research by color. So I would say this is green. So we're gonna um, tap green. And now they have all their beads, but we're gonna look for what looks like ours, and it will tell us. <laughs> you can also use Google Lens, I know, but this sometimes is easier, sometimes it's not. So, um, that's a venturine. We want something that looks more like it's spotted, like a solid white. Here we go, look at this. That's spotted. I think that's it. It's a little bit more green than ours, but don't you think that that would be it? So they're calling it a tree agate. So now let's actually try Google Lens and see if anything comes up. So you go to Google, click the lens, and when that, oh wait, you guys can't see that. <laughs> and when the, green, when the blue light comes up on it, the blue dot, oh, you still can't see it, hold on. There we go, when the blue dot comes up, you click I don't want it on the white, I want it on the stone. Then you can click the shutter button. Nope, it's not working, oh, maybe. Okay, it did work anyway. So, I mean, this kind of looks like it. Let's see what this says. Nope, that's definitely not it. African turquoise jasper it's definitely not turquoise so see sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't so if you guys know what it is and if it's not tree agate then you can let me know in the comments but this is a bracelet and it's seven inches and I am going to do um, six dollars here's an earring we'll put the earrings aside for now all right I guess this is a bracelet or I guess it could be a necklace probably a necklace with the heishi or heishi shells is that right and um, this kind of looks like turquoise. It could be with some quartz maybe in the middle, sodalite. And I don't know what these black beads are. They look just like clay or something. But this would be a really cool choker necklace. Uh, we'll do $10. This, I think, is going to be another amethyst. So let's see. Yep. And it's a stretch, and it says love. Oh, it says 925 on it as well. Let's see. Let's see if you are. You are 925, you little love charm. Okay. So we will do um, 10 on this one. This looks like just um, maybe Howlite doesn't really look like how I, it looks more like a quartz, but it's a little bracelet. We'll just do five on it. Somebody's crying outside.
All right. I'm looking for a maker. I don't see anything. I don't see any. Nope, it's definitely not Sterling. That kid looks, it sounds like it's right in front of my house. Because it is. They're walking by. I don't know what happened. Maybe they fell. Anywho, um, this is just a dyed halite bracelet. I'm going to put it on my mandrel. And it's coming up at about a 7 inch diameter. I mean, yeah, well, circumference, circumference. $5. Oh yeah, they're right, they're right in our, oh yeah, they're right in front of our bushes. Oh yeah. Anywho, <laughs> this is really cool. Look at this bracelet. Holy moly. How cool is this? Let me try putting it on without popping off anything. Because it's a little tight. But it's too big for me. It'll just roll around. But how cool is that? It does give a little bit and it's sitting at like seven and a quarter. And I'm going to hope that these are amethyst. Whoa. Whoa. Why is it going up so high? You guys see that? Is it spinel? That's weird. Let me try again. Yeah, I mean, it's shooting way past. Look at that. It's at the spinel. Wow, okay. So um, we're gonna do 12 on this one. That's really cool. This looks like another rose quartz, but let's see. Yes, rose quartz, it's just a long strand. Um, 16 inch total, I mean 16 inch wearable length. We'll do six bucks. Ooh, this is cool. Wow, you guys. This looks like the ocean. It looks like an, an island, and that's like this is the land, and this is the ocean. How cool! So it's like a torque necklace, so it'll sit at the collar. You have a cat eye, sodalite. We'll check what that is. This is probably amethyst, maybe some carnelian, rose quartz, jade, maybe. I'm not sure what those are, but this is definitely a big honker slice of agate. Really cool with the little butterfly bail. So let's see if any of these come up as anything or if they're just glass. Oh yeah. Wow, so that's coming up as like a spinel. Let me calibrate this, hold on. Yeah, why is it up so high? It's a little high. Let me shut you off for a second because you're a little high there, bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you know what? We're going to just hold off on this one until Pressy gets her SHIT together. And we're gonna look at this tree of life on like a copper color um, chain with all these cool, uh, probably chakra stones. There is an extender. It's about a 10 inch wearable length. It can go a little smaller and a little shorter. I mean, longer. We'll do seven on that guy. Oh, here's a little chakra, um, bracelet. We'll just do five on this one. All right, let's turn Pressy back on and hopefully she, uh, you know, calmed down a little bit. And we'll look at this because we don't need a uh, 
gem tester for this guy. This is dyed halite. Really pretty though. It's got an extender. It's on the shortest length of nine inches. Wearable. Knotted in between. Very pretty. Um, Seven dollars. You can look at this quickly too. This is like a shell, and I wouldn't really call those seed beads, but it's close. I love that green color, really pretty. So it's two strand, and it has a wearable length of about 12 inches. We'll just do five on this one. That's pretty. That might be, eh, actually, I don't know. Okay, let me try calibrating Pressy again and see what happens. She's still a little high. I don't know. Yeah, even the glass is coming up a little high. Oh no, there we go. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. <sighs> I don't want to spend, see, but then when I pull it away from the, the camera, it works. See? Okay, I think we're okay. You hear Dallas growling because someone's um, from upstairs is leaving. He growls, he barks and growls at everybody that comes in and out of the house. It's so funny. Um, okay, so back to this. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we were here. Let's see if this was rose quartz. No, I think this one's jade. I think that one's jade. Then this one we're gonna try. Look, that's jade too, the green. I don't know if these are gonna come up as anything. <clears throat> quartz maybe, ooh, excuse me. That one's amethyst. Hmm. That one's coming up right in between. Oh, that was that's probably nephrite. Okay, cool. And that one looks like sodalite. Okay, so we get, definitely got a little gemstone necklace here. So um, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask twenty on this one. I mean, this slice is so cool. So twenty bucks on that one. I like this, this is pretty. I love the Hamsa, Hamsa. So pretty. These look like Mother of Pearl. We have some, this looks like some type of agate. I, I don't think it's Howlite. I, can I go into Fire Mountain Gems again or are you guys gonna get annoyed with me? <laughs> And let's look at whites. No, I didn't press black. Let's go. Do we not have it? Here we go. Because it has like, um, like a, it might be halite. But see, they have, okay, like a mag, magnesiite. Moon, oh, oh yeah, maybe white halite natural because it does have a little bit of the gray in between but it looked a little bit more um clear than solid so i thought i always thought how light was more solid but no it kind of actually looks like this right so all right look at that see we're learning every day and then these I think are just, these are just glass. Really stinking pretty though. Let's get a measurement. 19 inch wearable, there is no clasp. I really like that. We're gonna do $10. All right, I put this one aside because it needed pressy. This we can see it's either rose quartz or jade maybe. 
Wow, okay, definitely went past the quartz. This is definitely j pink jade. And what's this little guy down here? Now he's at quartz amethyst citrine, so maybe just a quartz piece. So that's cool, okay. It's a little like um, bypass style bracelet, pretty. Um, you can definitely adjust it, but it's sitting at about seven and a quarter. And we're going to do, now it's not sterling. Ay caramba, it doesn't look like it. But because it's not magnetic, I have to check it. Nope, it is not. So I was correct, but you know, I just have to make sure. Just have to check it out. Okay, so we're gonna do um, $10 on this one. Really cool. All right, now this guy is super pretty. Look at that. I'm gonna guess that this is carnelian. It doesn't come up on uh, the gem tester carnelian, huh? It's showing as jade, but I don't know if that would be the same as carnelian. And then it looks like we have some shell. So that's really pretty. Really cool toggle clasp. It's got a little bit of vertigree, so just so you guys are aware. But that can be cleaned. It's very easy with a little bit of vinegar and a Q-tip. Eight inch wearable. We will do um, $12. All right, let's look at these earrings first since they're packaged. These look like gold stone, which is not a natural stone. It is man-made. It's actually a form of glass, but they are very pretty. Um, $6. Here's another halite necklace. This is dyed blue halite. Very pretty. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's also got an extender, but it's at eight inches. It can go a little smaller or a little longer. And we'll just do five on this one. It's cool because this one's more of a gloss and that one's a little bit more matte. So very cool. Here's another um, Chakra Tree of Life. I forgot what I said for the other one, but $5 for this one. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. What kind of stone is that? Let's check. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna find maybe pink. You think they have a pink section? Pinks, yay! Okay, so it's kind of banded. It might just be an agate. But we're gonna see if anything comes up. These all look like, you know, quartz and rod, rodo, rodonite, rodonite. <laughs> Yeah, rose quartz, bamboo coral. I don't think it's coral. It might just be, oh, what's, what is that? Let me get a bigger picture. No, pink tourmaline, I don't think it's that. It might just be an agate. Because agate usually has, like that lace agate usually has the um, bands like that. So what do you guys think? Put it in the comments. But I'm not really seeing anything right now. I don't wanna take forever doing this. So we're gonna just say that it's um, like a, a banded agate. And maybe these are amethyst. Oh, let me bring this in more. Maybe this is an amethyst. Yeah. Amethyst and some pearls. Let's see if they're real. 
Ooh, they might be. They're a little gritty. I don't think that's sterling. So, very pretty. I love the color combo. It's about a 10 and a half inch wearable length. So we will do uh, $10. Let's see what you are, but you're kind of tangled. How did you get like that? Like, how did that? I think I got it. Nope, I'm making it worse. What the heck? All right, I don't know how that happened, but we're just gonna roll with it. I have no idea what this is, but I don't think it's sterling. It looks like that other piece. Um, oh, then it's hooked onto this. That's probably Jade. Yep. So you have a jade bracelet and whatever this is hooked on to, and you get both for $7. <laughs> and here we have a really cute um, multi-stone bracelet with a fish hook clasp. It looks like somebody handmade this with all different kinds of stones. I see some malachite, some snow obsidian, some rose quartz, some turquoise possibly um some sodalite maybe really cool amethyst so that's really neat lapis right there so let's get a measurement it's eight inches and we're gonna do eight dollars all right here's another one that's probably also jade yeah so we're gonna do um, $6 on this one. It's the ones that you pull to get tight around your wrist. I wanna kinda keep it moving because we have a lot going on here. All right, this here's some amethyst earrings. Let me just check. Yep, um, we'll do eight on those. Um, this is Howlite little Howlite bracelet, seven and a half inches. We'll just do five bucks. This, this is not in good shape. We're gonna put that in craft. Craft items are $1. Friends, it does say 925 and it does look like it would be silver. Let's just check this little chippies. They are amethyst. I don't know why I put that so far away. <laughs> yes, so the friends box is coming up as sterling. Uh, I'll get you, actually I'll put it on the mandrel. Ooh, six and three fourths. So we will do um, $8 on that. This might be that rhod rhod rhodonite, rhodonite, rhodonite. Is that how you say it? With some maybe glass. Yep, glass little, uh, do they call them bicombs? I'm really pulling out all my, <laughs> all my uh, words here, <laughs> my whole dictionary of gemstones and beads and everything. Um, somewhere on the clasp, but it's still pretty. It's got kind of like an overall wear on the silver tone. Uh, seven and a half inches to the drop. We'll just do $4 since there's some overall wear. Two stretchies. Wow, these are going way past the quartz line. Yeah, 
yeah, so I would say these are pink jade because that's not even close to the quartz line. Yeah, so we'll do um, six bucks a piece, or if you want both, 10. Here's a little, oh, this is a really little necklace. What's going on here? Oh, it's only a 13 inch length, so that would have to be a child's necklace. So um, I'm just going to put this into craft. It's pretty cool with the little shell and probably some Jasper on there. All right. All right, let's unclasp you. And I guess we're not going to take you for now because you're stuck. Here's that other earring we had over here. Let's see if these do anything. Oh yeah, these are quartz. So we have clear quartz, little dangles. We'll do four on those. That looks like it broke off of something, but we'll hold on to it. Here's something in a little baggie. Wow, these are pretty. I don't know what stone that is. I don't, it's not turquoise. This feels more like a, a quartz. But maybe it is, tur no, I don't think it's turquoise. It might be with the veining right there. But it, they're, it's very cold and it feels more like a stone, if that makes sense. I know turquoise is stone too, but this is giving me a, a different vibe. But either way, these are super, super pretty. Um, I'm going to do eight on these. Um, so this looks like sodalite and halite, maybe. Little bracelet. Five dollars. This guy is cool. Look at this one. Holy moly. I love it. Moss Jasper. <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at the screen like, Kristen, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at that one. How cool is that? Some um, s sunstone. Did I just, I totally just lost my brain with what that is. Goldstone. Jeez Louise. This is blue sunstone. I think it's called. It's blue and it's glittery. That might be, this looks more like a nephrite. Yep. So that one's nephrite. It has more of like a greenish. Actually, it might be like a moss agate because look at that one. Ooh. Love, love, love this. Some of these feel like plastic. Like that one like that one because I can see the mold line. But either way, this is a fantastic necklace. So pretty. It's a 10 and a half. Well, I would say, well, let's do that again because the bead is pretty big in the front. It's about a 10 and a half wearable length. So pretty. Let's do um, 14 on it. Okay, I see Soda Light. Very pretty bracelet with the toggle. It's not sterling. Let's see what these little pieces are here. They are not coming up as glass. Seven inch wearable. Um, we'll do seven bucks. Ooh, a ring. Oh, you guys, this is really big on me. Let's try this finger, there we go. What a pretty ring. Definitely some type of agate, right? 
It's, it has a lot of wear on the inside and very little around the outside, but there is wear present. It's a size nine. We're gonna do $8 because of the wear. Here we have a hematite necklace. Looks like a collar necklace to me. Seven and a half inch wearable, five bucks. Here's another one. Yep, five bucks. So two people can get those. Make sure you guys are checking the sold list pinned in the comments before you email me. Here's another jade, yep, pendant or ornament or charm, $5. Here's some earrings to put to the side. Wow, look at this. Carnelian. And some jasper in between. I think I'm going to read up on all the different kinds of jaspers because I know there's a ton. But I know that these are definitely look like look like jasper in between. It's just silver tone. 10 inches to the pendant, wearable, $10. So pretty, that color is awesome for the fall right now. All right, let's check out this. What is, how did this get looped on here? Hold on. Okay, so this is just one really long strand. I'm going to I'm going to guess that this is real turquoise. So we have a really long strand. Turquoise does not go for what it used to anymore, and that's really sad. You can get these strands for like 10 bucks. 23 inch um, wearable length. And I'll just do $10 because, I mean, go on to eBay and they ruin the market. <laughs> Here is a, I'm going to guess, amethyst. Amethyst, amethyst, everybody likes amethyst. Wow, I mean, that, that just kept going. It's up by the spinel again. Crazy. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I mean, this is like really purple. Spinel, I don't think, comes in purple, right? Oh, now, but, now, but look. It just went to amethyst. What is going on? Yeah. No, but now it's going further. And it all depends because these needles, these points, it goes by um, temperature. So you want to try not to hold, like the stone too much because it might alter the um, temperature of the stone but look at that it flies up to spinel topaz so I don't get it get yeah, way past guys <sighs> I'm getting frustrated eight inch wearable we're gonna do eight dollars. I think my presidium needs to be recalibrated. So we're just gonna finish this up and I'm gonna take a look at it after the video. Let's see what this says. Yeah, this there's something wrong because it shoots up to spin L2. Eight inch wearable. We'll do five on this one. Here's another long strand of stones. These are like really pink. These might be that pink tourmaline that we saw. 
Let's see. I don't know if this is going to even work because I feel like my presidium is all messed up. Mm, maybe. Oh, yeah, look. It's at the tourmaline. Look at that. Okay, so it's working. See, I don't know. But pink tourmaline, I'm going to assume. I mean, how much does even this go for? Probably not that much. Unless they wouldn't have put it in here. Pink tourmaline. Chip necklace. I mean, they don't have any listed. I knew this lot was going to be, be very hard. Okay, so here's one here for 16 bucks. So I'll just do 10 on this one. $10, and what did I say? 16-inch wearable. I can't wait to read the comments on this video if you guys are going <laughs> to yell at me. <laughs> this looks like a little chakra set of earrings. Let's see, are they real? Yep. Um, five bucks. Here's a, this definitely looks like turquoise. See, when you get turquoise, you can just tell. If you're like unsure, then it's probably not. But this definitely looks like turquoise. You can see all of the, uh, what do they call the black pyrite? Is that what they call it? But that's pretty cool. Like how it, where it grows from, it grows off of, whatever. 16 inch wearable. Um, do I keep going out of focus? We'll do 15 on that one. All right, we only have a couple pieces left, guys. Let's pull, get them all over here. I'm trying to, okay. And then we have a box. Wait, where's the, do we have the other earrings to these? Let's see. There's a couple... Let's just dump the bag out. Okay, that's everything. Oh wait, and here's that little piece. It's just like a random piece. With this one. It's just halite. I don't know, a dollar a piece. Okay. I wanna look at this necklace. This looks really nice. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, I love it. Oh. So pretty. Look at all this. Wow. I don't even know what this is, but it's beautiful. Whatever it is. I'm going to give you a length. It's one really long necklace at 23 and a half inch wearable. You can definitely double that. Wear this on Halloween. This is the perfect season to wear this. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. All right, then we have this little jade necklace probably. Yeah, see, and it works for that. It's going right to jade. So weird, so weird. So here we have the little jade heart. Um, 10 and a half inch wearable, $8. This is a sodalite necklace. You guys, look at what, look at what this thing is doing. Look, I'm not even touching anything, look. <gasps> oh my God, I'm freaking out. You guys, it's not even on. Oh my God, maybe the batteries are dead. I bet you that's it. Because I have this on battery. I bet you the batteries died. Ah! <laughs> okay, I bet you that's what it was. Wow, I'm freaking out thinking that we just had a ghost in here. 
because it just went off. So I bet you I'm out of battery. Holy moly, that would explain a lot. Okay, this is going into craft because the uh, chain is doo-doo. Um, let's look at these. These are cool. Oh, no, they're broken. Oh, no. These would be so fabulous. You guys just need hooks. You guys just need to put some hooks on these. These are awesome. Definitely a stone. $5. I got to do five. I mean, they're awesome. All right, then we have these earrings. They're a little bent, but they're cool. Probably quartz of some some sort. Oh, but the bottom is broken. Damn it. Darn it. Craft they go. Okay, so then we have this ring. We have this bro holy moly <gasps> okay and then we have this earring so this matched this dude over here so we'll do four dollars on these we don't have the match for these so they're gonna go into craft for a dollar a piece this is probably a jade ring let's see oh i don't have battery so probably a jade ring Size six and a quarter, five dollars. And this, you guys, I'm gonna need my oh no, it looks it looks like glass or agate. It could be jade. Shit. I need let me see if I have any batteries. batteries. Guys, I don't have any double A batteries. I only have triple A. So I cannot test this. But look, it's so pretty. What does it say? I have no idea what that says. It's so worn. Let me see. Mexico. Something. Something Mexico. But this is old. Look at that. This is really super old. I mean, not... It, it looks, it's old, but then it looks like somebody glued that piece on. Because, I mean, they're not, I mean, are they going to glue stuff on in, like, the 20s and stuff, 30s? I don't know. So, that might be an addition. But either way, this is super cool and super unique. I kind of want to keep it, but I will offer it to you guys first for $24. $24. All right, we have one more piece. Whatever's in this box, I have no idea. And then we're going to switch over to the vintage hard goods section of the video. And if you guys missed the sale yesterday, what I do every six to eight months is I clear out some older inventory from my antique booths. And, you know, every weekend I, I fill my booth with new stuff, but every six to eight months I take out some of the older stuff. So regular customers aren't always seeing the same things over and over. So I did, I sold everything except, except two or three things I sold in the sale yesterday, but I did not finish going through everything. So we're going to go through that in the next part of the video. So you can also check the sold list for that stuff and do the same thing like you would do in my jewelry or purse sale videos. You can email me with the timestamp and or screenshot with the items that you want, but the price is the price. It's not including shipping. All right, so let's see what's in here. Oh, all right, cute. So Jade Country NZ Greenstone, New Zealand Greenstone, maybe? Pretty. I, I don't really like this cord, but let me try to give you, you can definitely switch that out, put a nice bail on it and put on a silver chain on it. It's about a 12 inch wearable length. And let me roll this up again really nice. Let's stick it back in there. That's pretty. So we'll do um, 12 on this one. Can you guys see that? Pretty. Okay, 
So I'll see you guys. I'm going to try to do the stuff here. Um, but if it doesn't work because I have some bigger pieces, then I'll switch to where you see my face view. <laughs> okay, so let me get some stuff. Hey guys, and I'll be we're right going to attempt to try this angle. I don't know how it's going to work with hard goods. I have to change around my whole lighting setup to go into the other room. So I'm going to just try it out this way. And if it doesn't work, I have to change the lighting and go in the other room. Um, but this I've shown before. I just want to see if anyone's still interested. It's the, um, geez, it's the little oriental ring box or earring box with the little, um, closure here in the front. Really nice condition. Okay. And we'll do um, $8 on this. I need to find a spot. Um, this guy didn't sell. Some of you guys said that he was from somewhere, but I, I don't know what, where that was. Um, but he's a vintage hand puppet. And I think I was... I don't remember what I was asking for him, but we're gonna do ten dollars. He has a rubber, hard rubber face, just a little stain there, but he's good. And then you can, your hand goes like that. Um, you know, obviously I, I can't put it in because it's all taped. I mean, uh, wrapped up. But ten dollars for the little hand puppet. Um. This didn't sell. We were calling this um, the Madonna or Mary um, Planter by Royal Windsor. Really nice condition. There's a little bit of crazing. No chips or cracks. Nice size. And um, we will do $6 on her. Okay, so I have, this has a spoon that I broke. This is from Neiman Marcus hand-painted in Italy for Neiman Marcus. It's a little barrel with lemons on the top. A little jam jar. But I broke the spoon. So, um, <laughs> if anybody wants this, I will glue the spoon back together. And... I'll only do $8. Okay, so it's less than half price. I'm so mad at myself that I broke this, but. So $8 for the little jam jar by Neiman Marcus. Not really by Neiman Marcus, for Neiman Marcus. <laughs> this is the other piece that goes, that's like, I bought with it. It's by Neiman or for Neiman Marcus as well. This spoon is in, is perfect. It does not fit in the jam jar, unless I would have just put that in there. But this is a little um, ceramic potato, like little gravy boat. It's not marked, but it's super cute. And the spoon goes with it. It's all ceramic. Actually, it might be porcelain. That's why it broke so easily. But whatever, um, super cute little piece. And we're going to do um, 12 on this guy. Okay, then I have, I think I have two of these. So let me wait until I unwrap the other one. Okay, I have two of these. These are little jars, little Asian like Moriage jars. They are marked 
hand painted in Japan. They have the double handle. Get out of here, little bug. Really nice. Um, there's one teeny little like nick right there. And I had, see I have them as mini vase or toothpick holder by Trico. And I had um, $5 on them each. Oh no, five and seven, that doesn't make sense. Oh, because of the, the nick on it. So we're gonna do um, four bucks a piece. Well, sorry, I'll do two on this one. $2 on the one with the nick, $2 and $4, okay? So let me, obviously, let me know which one you want when you email me and make sure you guys are checking the sold list down in the comments. And this is what I was doing in the live sale. I was literally unpacking everything in, in front of you guys from my antique booth. I wanted to get to these and I didn't. I have two of these, but this is my only milk glass one. This is a Fenton shoe with the cat on the front. These are very collectible. I've sold like almost every color in these in my booth. <laughs> so here's the milk glass one. And I was selling it for 19, but we're gonna do um, $8 for the Fenton milk glass shoe, $8. We have a planter, Japan. This one's cute. It's just a crane. It does have some crazing. You can, I should probably be giving you guys measurements, but you can see it in my hand. It's like hand, hand size. It's about five inches by four and a half. I had 25 on this. I will do it for 12. $12 made in Japan. No chips or cracks, just a lot of crazing. Crane planter. We have a really pretty, like, moriage, almost like Majolica style mug. It is German. It's got, this is like a luster. So pretty. Look at the flowers and how they're, um, they are protruding. They have that projection on there. It, I think it used to have a gold trim. It's like almost gone already. But the rest of it is beautiful. I had $10 on this. I will do four. Okay. Okay, here's the other shoe. This is the Amberina Fenton shoe. Daisy button. Really nice. No chips or cracks. I had 12 on it. I will do $6. This one should really be more than the milk glass, but we're gonna roll with it. All right, then we have, I still have this, this is so out of order, but I still have the Fendi um, eyeglass case. It is authentic. It is leather. It's a black leather. It 
it comes with the little cleaner for the eyeglass for the sunglasses that's not in here <laughs> and then it has the authentic cards Oh, that's the only one okay and it's really nice condition there's just a couple little marks right there so um, I had this in a purse sale video I think for like 45 we're gonna do 30 on it okay it comes with the box 30 bucks All right, let me switch out this box because it's done. I have some crystals, but I don't know if you guys are interested in any of these. They're raw crystals. So I have the Blue Appetite. I have Sodalite. I have green aventurine. I have citrine. These are all going to be $5. $5 a piece. I have clear quartz. I have carnelian. Let me take this one out because it's really pretty. These all can be polished if you would like. I mean, you'd have to, I don't know if you can do it yourself, but these are all raw carnelian. This one's going to be six. Tourmaline. And then I have a gray appetite geode half, I mean, agate, agate geode half. This one's going to be eight. I'll take this one out too. So you can really see that crystal in there. Okay, so $8 on that one. Um, six on the carnelian and then five on all the rest. Okay. All right, so bear with me. I'm just switching out the box box a box a box all right so next we have a um, oriental tea tin it's like a brick red it's got a little dent okay it measures, where's my measury? Five, let's do it from the back. Six, six inches by four and a half by four. And I had $8 on it. We're going to do $4. Okay, here's the other piece to the salt and pepper set. So let's show that. This is by Pier One. It's gonna be hard to show you because I'm showing you from above. So how cute is this? So the salt and pepper shakers are the tea kettles, the tea kettle in the little pot. I'm missing a stopper there salt and pepper and then now you have your stove there's pier one and you lift the stove off and you have room for toothpicks okay this is very heavy so if you live far away from new york it's the shipping's going to be crazy unless i put it in a flat rate box so this was really cool. I love this set. I had 15 on it. We're going to do seven. Okay, seven dollars. I had this purse from um, 
this is actually random. This is from the Goodwill Blue Box Mystery Purse. I actually got three in that, and this was one of them. It's got a long chain, and it's just a little gray satin bag. And I think I just said $10 on this, so we're going to do eight now. And it has a really long chain. 22 inch drop on that, eight bucks. Really cute for like a niece or cousin or, or like a little, a little girl who wants to play dress up. That'd be so cute. Okay, then I have some more um, like tongs and stuff like that. I sold one yesterday in my live. So I have some, I have more that I didn't get to show. Um, I believe these all to be silver plated. Yep. So these are a little serving like for salad. Really pretty. Spoon on one side. Uh, like a spork <laughs> on the other. And I had 15, we're gonna just do six bucks. Okay, six on that one. These are so cool. I can't believe these didn't sell in my booth. Look at that. Look at that. How cool. So it's a fork and spoon. They're Red Alfred Hatted Lebanon Serving Fork and Spoon. So they're Lebanese. Super cool. I think it's wood. And I'm going to do $10. Okay. So cool. I have another pair. This is the same like the other one. So make sure you're giving me that timestamp of which one that which one that you want. Uh, what I say, six bucks. So we'll do six bucks on these. Okay. Oh, and these never sold either. What this never sold either, which I don't get because this is the coolest thing in the world. Let me just put it all back together. I've had this forever in my booth because I didn't want to give up on it. Look at how cool he is. He's a wood, um, like hors d'oeuvre fork holder. And there's six of them in here. Look how cute. Like, what the heck? Why didn't anybody want this? I guess nobody serves hors d'oeuvres anymore. <laughs> So cute. Okay, it's not marked or anything. $10. Okay, 10 bucks on the fishy or d'oeuvre fork holder. Okay, so I'm done with this box. Now I have some depression glass that I want to show you guys. Um, so if you're not interested in depression glass, you can click off now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Click that thumbs up on your way out. And if you would like to see some yellow and pink depression glass, All stay right. here we go, depression glass. So this is the first piece I have. It's a ginormous plate. I know this is kind of hard for me to show you, but I'm working on limited space here. Limited space. Okay. So this is a divided dish. I love this because I hate when my food touches each other. So this would be a great plate for me. I actually have one in uranium, green uranium that I use sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I do have the maker and stuff like that on most of these. So this is Federal Glass. It was made from 1932 to 1939. This is the Amber Grill plate in the Madrid pattern, okay? I actually have books on all the depression glass patterns and I was trying to learn them. There's just too many. So 10 and a quarter. 
grill plate, Madrid, four dollars. Okay. Now where am I gonna put them once I'm done? <laughs> That's the question. Okay. Then we have this pretty. This is the same pattern, but this is a dinner plate. Okay. These are so pretty. I love depression glass. Like, you don't get stuff like this anymore. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Like, this was crazy. Like, 1920s, 1930s, they're making cool stuff like this. <laughs> In the middle of a friggin' depression. Like, come on. All right, this is a 10 and a half inch, too. So, our 10 and a quarter, $4. And this was all handmade. Like, it's not, like, mass-produced or anything like that. This one is Federal Glass, 1933 to 1937. Amber, um, well, they call it amber or yellow. So it's either one, yellow or amber. The same. It's more of a yellow, but they call it amber. Um, this is the Patricia Patrician Spoke Pattern. I have a few of these. Um, I have... I have one, two, three, four. I have four of these, and they are, oops, 11 inches, $4 a piece. So make sure you let me know um, how many you want. Um, they none of them have chips or cracks or anything. I don't normally I won't I don't sell things with flaws. People, you know, in antique, when they go to antique malls, they don't want flaws. They don't want chips, they don't want cracks, they don't want anything, they don't want an excuse. So I <laughs> I try to have pristine items in my store, in my antique booth, well, in anything really. So I always give you guys the flaws, but not none here. Four dollars a piece. Let me know. I'm going to put these somewhere. Hold on. My office isn't big enough for all this. Then I have, I think this is the Madrid again. So I, I think I have two of these. Yeah. It's the Madrid divided grilled grill plate. So $4. I have two of them. Okay. Okay, then I have smaller pieces, like these little guys. I don't know, they're all the same pattern, but I don't know this pattern. It kind of looks like the Cameo, but I don't think that that's it. But they're saucers. They're not saucers, sorry, that's on the other side. They're little bread plates. And these are six inches. So we'll do um, $3 a piece on these. So make sure you let me know. Timestamp, screenshot, how many that you want. Then keeping with yellow, I have these. And these are the Madrid. It's a teacup and a Madrid um, sherbet glass, like um, like ice cream cup. All right, and these are gonna be $5 each. So make sure you let me know which one you want. This one's a little dirty, I'll clean it. Okay, $5 a piece on those. Now we're gonna move into pink. I have these. It's a creamer and sugar. They're 1930s Ellie Smith pebbled rim pink depression glass creamer and sugar bowl. I have $14 on it. We're going to do six bucks for the set. How good of a deal is that? Six dollars on the set. What is that? 
that's in the glass. So $6 on the set for this, very cute. And then I got little plates for pink. So I have this little cutie. This is a um, like bread plate or some or so. And we're gonna do, it's a 1929 to 1933 Jeanette glass cube. Okay. We're gonna do $2. I can't go that I can't go a dollar. <laughs> I gotta make some money here. Two bucks. I probably am not even making much money at all. But I'd rather them go to a good home than me having to donate them or put them to the curb or something. I'd rather have you guys take them. So I have a bunch of these. So this these are so pretty. These are pink. They're showing up clear, but they're pink. Um it's 1929 to 1932. It's the Macbeth Evans Dogwood. And it is a plate, like a salad or lunch plate, eight inches. I have I have four of these. I have four of these and we're gonna do four bucks a piece. Sorry, it's not that big of a, a, a discount, but four dollars a piece on the dogwood. So let me know how much, how many of them you would like. And then lastly, we have two of these. They are the 1920 to 1930 Imperial Glass Diamond Quilted Lunch or Salad Plate, eight and a quarter inch. Okay, super pretty. These are so pretty. These, I mean, especially for like a brunch, these would be so pretty. Or take them out for Valentine's Day, you know, like, oh. I have, I have a couple from each color, and then my husband collects the green uranium glass. We have tons of it, all different, all different kinds of things, all different, you know, we, we probably can have a whole dinner party with uranium glass. We even have like measuring cups and, you know, the juicers and stuff and all kinds of, all kinds of cool stuff, glasses and pitchers and stuff. Um, okay. So that's everything. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this far. I know this was a long one. I'm tired again. <laughs> I need a drink and, um, remember to check the sold list pinned in the comments, give a thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe. If you haven't already, I'm on the road to five thousand subscribers thank you guys so so much for your love and support i'm working on figuring out a really cool giveaway for five thousand um so stick with me tell a friend to to subscribe and um you know what let's let's do something like that um you know tell a friend you know tell them to say that you that you um sent them over you know refer a friend and um that, that's really great. I love everyone in the community being together and friendly and nice and supportive. I love you all. Thank you again so very much. We will see you in the next one.